Hi, Kelly Crude here with YourServiceZone.net. Just wanted to do a video uh, for you so you can get to know me a little bit better. Um, I would definitely describe myself as an introvert. Um, I'm not very comfortable in big group settings. I don't like to be in front of large crowds. I'm one of those people that if I give to a charity, I don't want anybody knowing about it because I don't want to get any fame for it or notoriety or, or anything like that. Um, I know my husband would definitely describe me as being very humble, um, which for me is even weird saying because I feel like, oh, I'm putting too much limelight on myself because I'm actually saying I'm humble. But um, yeah, humble can be a great thing, but when you take it to the extreme like me, it can um, yeah isolate you quite a bit from uh, really stepping out and um, showing people who you really are as a person. So I'm doing this video to kind of step out of my comfort zone, um, show you who I am, and um, just let you know that if I can do it, oh, man, you can do this too. Um, I'll never forget how my thinking has definitely changed from where I was in high school. Um, all of my friends were picking their classes and a lot of my friends were going into this class called forensics and yeah I thought that sounded really cool you know CSI was getting really big at the time so I was like oh this might be kind of different well when I joined the class I found out it was like debate team and you had to go up and debate other people on certain subjects and be really like involved in current events and um, you know, you had your, your side and their side, and yeah, so you get the picture. It was not the right fit for me. So going into that, I can definitely say I researched everything, but I wanted to lose. And I would watch TV shows and try to keep on current, up with current events, but I wanted to lose. And I would, you know, go over to friends' houses and have heated conversations with them on abortion and sex before marriage and all these crazy topics that were going on in the news, but I wanted to lose. So when I went into those rooms and I knew I knew everything I was going to talk about or they were talking about and the person would go up front that I was debating and my opponent I should say would go up front and debate and I knew exactly what I wanted to say back to them but I wanted to lose so what did I do most of the time I lost actually I shouldn't say most of the time all the time I lost because that's what my thinking was it was easier for me to lose than to win and now mind you I hung out with a lot of winners like all my friends were winning these awards and uh, they were so pumped up about debate and I even had a debate partner for a while but uh, I actually decided that it was better for me to walk away from it than actually get rejected by them so I walked away and I felt bad for them because they were losing all the time because they were with me because I didn't want to win I wanted to lose that was my attitude and just looking back on that now I just go it was so much easier for me to lose than to win and I don't want to lose right now I don't I just don't have that mindset and I don't have that track of thinking um, I want to be able to help people and in order to help people and I need to show people who I am and I need to um, put myself out there and like I said if I can do it you can do it so not going to go too much longer on this video because I've got many other things to say but I'll leave you with that because I think that's a good place to leave this. Just think about how you think in situations. Um, you know, it might sound crazy now to me to think, wow, I actually wanted to lose, but that was what was easy for me at the time. It was easier for me to lose and not go forward in the next step because I was a winner, because I did win that debate. and. I didn't want to, it wasn't that I didn't want to put in the effort, but the effort in it was the winning, so to speak. Um, yeah, it was easier for me to play dead, really. Um, yeah, if you find this video helpful, comment below and definitely like it. And there's some more details after the video on how you can contact me. 
Until next time, bye.